Hello and welcome in this lesson. In this lesson we will learn, procedures used in registration and mobility management. In this lesson we will learn the following procedures, and how they are used, in registration and mobility management. The registration procedure. The deregistration procedure. And the handover procedure. First let's learn the registration procedure. The registration procedure is having three types. The initial registration procedure. The mobility registration update procedure and the periodic registration update procedure. First let's learn the initial registration procedure. The initial registration procedure is used to move the UE from RM deregistered state to RM registered state. In this procedure, the UE sends registration request to the AMF, including registration type equals to initial registration. And at the end of the procedure, the AMF sends registration accept message to the UE. This message includes, the registration area of the UE, which is a tracking area list. That is determined by the AMF, according to the location, of the UE. Now let's learn, the mobility registration update procedure. The mobility registration update procedure, is used when the UE, moves to a cell, that exists outside the registration area, received from the AMF. In this case, the UE sends registration request message, to the AMF including the registration type, equals to, mobility registration update. And at the end of the procedure, the AMF sends registration accept message, to the UE, including a new registration area, that includes a tracking area list. That is determined by the AMF, according to the new location, of the UE. This keeps the AMF, always updated, with the tracking area list, that the UE, currently exists in. Now let's learn, the periodic registration update procedure. The periodic registration update is used, when the UE is in CM idle state. As long the UE is in CM idle state, and every periodic amount of time, the UE shall initiate periodic registration update procedure, in order to inform the network, that the UE is still reachable. In this procedure, the UE sends registration request to the AMF, including registration type, equals to periodic registration update. And at the end of the procedure, the AMF sends, registration accept message, to the UE. Now let's learn, the deregistration procedure. The deregistration procedure is used, to move the UE, from RM registered state, to RM, deregistered state. The deregistration procedure, can be initiated, by the UE, or by the AMF, or by the UDM. Now let's learn the handover procedure. The handover procedure is used, when the UE, is in CM connected state. While the UE is in CM connected state, and the UE moves from one G node B, to another G node B. The UE shall initiate, the handover procedure. The target of the handover procedure, is to make seamless transfer between G node Bs, without affecting the user plane data, exchanged between the UE, and the data network. In summary, the initial registration procedure is used, to move the UE from RMD registered state, to RM registered state. And the mobility registration update procedure, is used when the UE, moves to a cell, that exists, outside the registration area, that is received from the AMF. And the periodic registration update procedure is used, when the UE is in CM idle state. So that every periodic amount of time, the UE initiates periodic registration update, to inform the network, that the UE is still reachable. And the deregistration procedure, is used to move the UE, from RM registered state, to RMD registered state. And the handover procedure is used, while the UE is in CM connected state, and the UE moves between different G node Bs. The handover procedure is used, to make seamless transfer between G node Bs, without affecting the user plane data, exchanged between the UE, and the data network. Thank you and see you, in the next lesson.